What's your name? Carol. How did you end up here? I spent 30 years of my life with a guy that I didn't marry, and he put me out. After 30 years, he put you out? Well, you, you didn't marry him. Why were you so attracted to somebody who didn't treat you well? He always did treat me well, but he made a decision to go with alcohol instead of me. When somebody has an addiction, it's hard to compete with that. They had the addiction long before they knew me. They got it under control for 30 years and then all of a sudden made the decision that was more important. Alcoholism is an addiction and it's a dependency. So if he was more dependent on that as a drug, he couldn't interact with you the way you deserve to be interacted with. Yeah, and he decided that my disability was too much to bother with anymore. He, he was kind when he was sober, but got really mean when he was drunk. I have a question for you and for all the women who are watching this. Why do so many women choose men who are absent emotionally from their lives? That's hard for me to say for other people, but for me, I loved his kindness, his honesty. But we lost a dog together, and after that he said, we're done. I'm not taking care of no more girls. We're done. 30 years is a long time, honey. A long time. And I've lost my best friend. He was my best friend. But to look at me and say, you're out on the street, that's, that's hard. You were not out, out on the street when you were with him for 30 years, were you? No. I was well taken care of in a five bedroom house. I had dogs, I had a life. And he, he said, too bad, you got 30 years of stuff here, too bad. Might as well kiss it off, because I'm throwing it all away. Everything. So it's only been about two months since this happened. That's why it's so fresh in your mind. So, what what now? Um, I have another little dog that he gave away. And I wake up for her every day. I want her back. I want to love her. I want to finish loving her before she passes. Where is he now? Well, he gave him. He's out in Mesa. If you were to talk to him right now, what would you say? Tell the camera. The only thing I can say is I hope your life gets a little brighter, a little better, and I hope you don't die because that's where you're headed. Alcohol is going to take you down. Now what about you, Carol? What, what kind of a future do you see for yourself? Uh, living independently. Um, I'm a veteran. I have a nonprofit that I work with female veterans. Talk about your, ser your service, please. Um, I was a Vietnam vet. I served in the United States Navy. I am so glad I'm a vet. I am so glad. I have people at 18 tell me, don't do that. I'm glad I'm a vet. I'm proud to be a vet. Most of our veterans feel very proud of being a veteran. So how long have you been out of the service? Uh, I got out in 
1978. So it's been a while. <laughs> and you've been living in Arizona ever since. With this guy. Uh, no, that was after. I didn't move in with him until 1990. Or 88. Something like that. Did you go to education? Did you have an education? Did you go to school? What, what is your education? I uh, went to college. Went to Mesa Community College. I'm about six hours from having my degree, but I had to work full time and go to school full time. Is it too late, do you think, oh, to, it's to... Too late. It's never too late. That's the, that's the attitude that most veterans tell us about. That's the attitude. It's never too late. God is good. They are going to survive. Absolutely, absolutely, and there's some golden souls out there you got to get to know. And it doesn't matter what the outer appearance looks like, you look for that soul. So are you in a shelter now? Um, I will be next week. Where are you living right now? Right here at Cass. On the, on the street? On the street. On the street. For a veteran who, do, who, who gave so much of herself to this country, that's not right. It doesn't feel right, but you know what? You're here for a reason. And what, what legacy would you like to leave to everybody who has fought for our country? What is the legacy that you would like to leave now that you've been homeless? and you're now going to spiral upward. Uh, you don't go down. You don't look down. You don't think down. You go up. God bless you. Thank you. And bless you. Thank you for being here. And you too.